apparently. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Hello. What time is it there, you poor sod? <laughs> Oh my God, Adele, you're back. Hello. Uh, hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm so I'm overexcited to be honest. We we haven't done an interview for a long, long time. More on that in a okay. minute. It but has been a long time. Yeah. It's so great that you're back. It's we're so excited for the new music. This it must feel weird for you to. I mean, first of all, to be doing everything on Zoom to launch the new the new songs and stuff. But are you just completely? buzzing for this I'm buzzing I mean you know I was hoping to release this album last year but obviously 2020 happened for all of us um, so I've been living with it for a lot longer than I feel like I would have liked to um, <laughs> so, so I'm just like I'm just I'm just so eager like for this to, for the easy on me to come out and then for the album to come out and stuff like that and for it just to exist for my truth just to exist in the world so yeah I'm buzzing but you know I'm obviously knackered it's like it's, it's such a like juxtaposition <laughs> of all life. like you know it's like I'm going at like 25 miles an hour during my time off and then suddenly it's like a thousand miles an hour but it's it feels like good timing I feel like there's a reason it, it you know that that I couldn't put it out last year. It weren't finished. It weren't that I just chose not to. Um, but it just <laughs> feels like everything is slowly falling into place with, with you know, the release of the record and stuff like that, which was, I had to be patient in my life as well for everything to fall into place. So it feels fitting. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am buzzing. Yes, I'm buzzing. Good. Yes, That's, I'm buzzing. I, I wanted to check that you are in fact Very buzzing. Long -winded. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, this is the thing is that it's great that you, that you release the music when when you want and when it's ready and when you're happy with it. But with that, as you said, comes an expectation and also a stress because, as you say, you get used to sort of, you know, just having your life and being a human being yeah. and then suddenly you've got a million idiots like me to talk to. Wow, oh, I love talking to you. I've known you for years now. I really enjoyed your Instagram Live the other day. I think a lot of people did. It was, <laughs> it was, Apart uh, from me, everyone but me. Well, we'd, we'd seen this... <laughs> How to do it. So we'd all we'd as we'd all seen the beauty, the brilliant Vogue front cover, and you just looked sensational on that. And we were like, oh, yeah, oh my I had a cold sore. I had a cold sore. I was just wearing a t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. back in. And, and then we were like, oh yeah, it's still Adele, and she's on Instagram Live, and she's talking about crisps. And I wanted to just bring this up quickly. <laughs> My favourite crisp is prawn cocktail walkers or just ready salted walkers with loads of Worcester sauce on it. So the Worcester sauce, ready salted thing, that's an actual thing, is it? That's a thing in England. What are you talking about? No, but you're putting, you're tipping Worcester sauce into the bag. Oh yeah, and then you like, then you hold it tight, you clip it, and you shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, it's it's a dream. Okay, well we've got a question from John in Stockport on that subject. Hi Adele, All it's right. John here from Stockport. Just like you, I'm a massive fan of putting Worcester sauce on my ready salted crisps after seeing my dad do it years ago. I literally have him swimming in it. But then to finish it off, I like to drink the bag juice and get them last few soggy crisps at the bottom. Do you do the same? Yes, darling, I do the same. And I saw my mother do it growing up, and that's why I do it. So, <laughs> hey, we are twinning, babes from Stockport. Hello? Yeah. That's exactly it. And yes, those soggy ones at the bottom are the best. Okay. I just wanted to clear yes, that up. But when the ratio is like, normally you just went to sprinkle it on, like, you know, like a nice little like splash of it. But by the end, it's like just juice with a little bit of crumbs in it. And what's the sauce can be spicy? Right. Well, thank you for so clearing it, it up. It, it, it broke you, yeah. But yes, absolutely. Absolutely. It's my favourite thing. My mother, my mother loves it. So, yeah. The most important thing right now is that we have this new song and people are desperate to hear it. Adele, we love it. We love it. It's got the auto it's, it just it's the autumnal chords. It gets you right there in the heart. It's it's very beautiful. Me. Very, it very me. It yeah. is beautiful. So Easy On Me is brand new from Adele and Adele's on the breakfast show with me this morning. Where where did that song come from? Talk us through that song, please. Um, it's, it was the first song that I wrote for the album. So, you know, going back beginning of 2019, really. Um, and I was quite shocked that I got it out straight away. Like, you know, I haven't been back in the studio for like four or five years before that. Um, and it was just, you know, I was making decisions in my life, which have been well documented over the last, you know, few years. But also, obviously, I just put some interviews out and stuff like that. But it was just sort of that thing of like initiating a discussion or, you know, whatever, or I mean, not in the case of, you know, my son's dad and some of that, but, or a massive bloody fight, which I definitely started some fights post my relationship. 
<laughs> with myself and with other people. <laughs> but um, I don't, you, normally I'm very not, you know, confrontational and stuff like that. But it was just like, you can initiate something and be like, well, hang on a minute. No, go easy on me. It was just like, just be like, bear with me while I try and find my feet in a situation, you know? Um, and there's something like that's really like hopeful about it as well as sad. Um, but I mean, obviously bawled my eyes out when I was writing it and when I was singing it, you know, for the recording and stuff like that. But there's just, there's an element of hope in it, which in turn gave me hope, you know, because I was at my wits ends, you know, in the beginning of 2019. Um, and yeah, just... There was a few choices, but, I, you know, we just, I decided obviously in the end, but it was a discussion with a few people in my team that it felt like that was what people were missing from me, you know, the people that like my music. So, I mean, it feels bold to go over piano ballad because even someone like you, like that was never like, that was never meant to be a kind of lead single. It was after um, the Brits that it right. just blew up. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So like, you know, to come back with just a, I mean, I think it's kind of punk, you know, but like, it is what it is. <laughs> well, I think it will, it will have affected a lot of people's days. And I think it will be the song that you're, I think you're absolutely right. It will be a song that people are waiting to hear and, and go, oh my God, I've not heard that sentiment yeah, in the song. Like, you know, three and a half, four minutes of just like, hopefully it will encourage people to acknowledge mm. how they're feeling, which I feel like we are all encouraged not to do. Right, exactly. And, and what <laughs> yeah. was the reaction from your nearest and dearest about that song from, from the people it concerned? Well, they loved it. I was saying the other day um, that, you know, I, played, I sent a snippet of me singing it as I was writing it to three of my closest friends here and one didn't like it. The other one was like, well, yeah, maybe. Keep trying, though. You know, the other one was like, I'm busy working. So that was the perfect um, response for me. <laughs> um, but um, no, it was... It was People like, you know, my nearest, they love my patience in it. Like, you know, and that, like, I'm such a knee jerk person. Like, you know, I'll be like, I don't like it. No, forget it. No, oh my God. And all those things. And I'm like that with my music. I'm like that with like just things I want to do. I'm like that with my feelings and stuff like that. And it was, it, I think it was clear to them, you know, in the lyrics of Easy On Me that it was like, I bided my time. Like, you know, and I wasn't reacting, you know, to a reaction or anything like that. It was just, it was just, you know, a feeling that I'd sort of stirred on for a while. But um, they loved it. And, you know, I really, I don't do any music in my time off. Like, it's not a muscle that I exercise, you know, writing or singing. So most of the time, you know, even like just for like my best friends and even my manager, their, their first reaction, no matter what a song is, is it's just nice to hear you sing again. <laughs> <laughs> that, do you know what though? That's exactly what I. Feeling for them. But it's the same. It's the same for it's the same for all of us. I think is that when I first was played that song, I went, "Oh, it's so nice to hear your voice again." It's so, it, it is just so nice to hear your voice again. Thank you. <laughs> it really is. What is, what do you do in your time off then? What have you been doing? What what is a not like a boring day for you? I mean, obviously I'm on the school run and stuff like that. I do, you know, I love cooking and stuff like that. I love hanging out with my friends and like getting a bit drunk after bedtime and stuff like that and like chatting absolute nonsense. Um, I love films. Like, you know, I've always, I've always spent most of my time watching films and stuff like that. Um, now I'm just spoiled for choice of all these streaming services. I've got like, <laughs> but just very, very mundane. Like but Living you know, your life, is, which is important in my life sometimes feeling everything sometimes feeling nothing um but you know definitely it creeped over this time because it was the longest that i've gone without you know making music releasing music whatever and you know touring it promoting it whatever and it was like it was a year and a half two years too long for me but you know it, like i said it would have come out had 2020 not happened but um i got very very bold you know, <laughs> like not everyone else did, but it was like, but, you know, it, but yeah, it was, but yeah, my, my, my day today is, yeah, just what it is. That's, um, it's a, it's a dangerous cocktail of being bored, but impulsive, isn't it? So oh, what, yeah. what, what, are we, what are we saying? Are we, are we definitely saying, are we sticking to the album on the 19th of November? Definitely. You're not going to change your mind. No, no, that's definitely happening. No, that's been in the, that's okay. been in the pipeline for quite a while. Like yeah. I'd say maybe like, where are we now? October. Like that's been in the pipeline for six months. I've been set on this date. Okay. Um, because you know, I'm I'm printing CDs and vinyl. Like I'm all up for like the way the world's changed. It doesn't mean I'm just only gonna do it the way that the world has changed. <laughs> like lease as well. There was like a 25-week lead time. 
Oh, like it was it was because of COVID and because of like restrictions and stuff like that. Yeah. So many CD factories and vinyl factories, they bloody closed down even before COVID. No one bloody <laughs> them anymore. No, so, we- no, no, no. So I, yeah, so it's it's the the day is has been set right. for a mm-hmm. long time. By the way, I love that you're worrying about how it's being manufactured and stuff. I mean, it's important, isn't it? But I mean, it's great that you're sort of, that's I mean, one of your I'm worries. I'm telling you, those factories is looking like Squid Games right now. they got people over them with guns. I'm telling you, because I'm like, if this album leaks, <laughs> I'm like, how do we do that? But also, it didn't leak last time, which was a CD in a physical era. So I'm, I'm feeling all right about it. But, you know, it is what it is. It is you what know, it is. Whatever. I've but- lived with it that. So long. There'll, so, be, yeah. there'll be people listening now that will be working in those factories that will be making those CDs. So they'll be they'll be looking out for it now. I reckon. Yeah, you better. Ooh. Thanks for your hard work, though. Right, Adele. We got to talk about the last time. I worked out the last time we did an actual interview. We've seen each other before since yeah. this, but the last time we did an interview, let's just go down memory lane. Here we go. Oh, down memory lane. I'm nervous. Do you know what? I didn't realise this. You were my first ever interview. Yes, I know I was. I know. I remember that. First I remember ever. that very, very much. 2007. That. This is the most 2007 thing you're ever going to hear. Here we go. Oh, this my God. This is National Radio oh, okay. This is Greg James on Early Breakfast. And let's say good morning to Adele. Hi, Adele. Hello. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. Oh, my God. It, it made me feel really weird listening back to this. You no, know, I'm my skin is crawling. <laughs> All right, my hungover. Am I still out? What's going on? Hello, yeah, I'm fine. So I guess you were 19 and I was 21. I guess. There you go. Oh my god, we were babies. So here's here's my one of my first questions. So how did it all start? Talk us through like the beginning, the exact sort of month where it all sort of went. Oh wow, well, people were starting it's to take notice. It was this month, at the beginning of this month. I was in New York, and then Zane started playing um, Hometown as the hottest record in the world. So that was like that one day in that week, and then um, everyone else caught on, and like all the press kind of came on, and like I'm so busy. I'm not used to being busy. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I'm not used to being busy. Oh. <laughs> and then a big shout oh. out to the social media at the time. Yeah, exactly. So the, the MySpace has really helped, hasn't it, really? I mean, yeah, I mean, Woo! obviously not as much as like Lily Allen and Kate Nash, you know, the phenomenons on it, but um, oh, it got me era. signed and it got like, you know, my like grassroots fans, you know, it's, I've got all of them for it. So it is, it's, yeah, it has really helped. Incredible. A shout out to MySpace. Oh, yeah. Tom, we love you. Where are you, babes? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I, I mean, I used to have a personal MySpace page, but, you know, I wasn't even in charge of my music MySpace until, well, just before I got signed. But you're in charge my of the CDs are, now. I'm in charge of the CDs. I'm single-handedly running the CD world. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, I, I think this is quite a bold question from 21-year-old me. Here we go. I think they really are, so. is, is there anyone in the competition that you don't like? Not really, no. Go on. No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's basically who no. don't you like that is a bold question also before like social media like spats when it was just good old myspace and no one was like <laughs> um, no, that is, no, I'm like I mean I know I've, I've, there's a couple of things that have that, that have been said or I've said or that someone else said and I reacted to like over like the last sort of like 12 13 years um I just I feel like well especially now obviously the, the artist or where I was as an artist, in fact, in just completely 360, actually. I'm just <laughs> nowhere near that person there that you're talking to, really. But I feel like it's my job to only elevate artists. Mm. Like, you know, I'm not, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I, you know, I learned my lesson from a disagreement that I had early on with someone. And, and I just, yeah, I just, music is it. Music is universal. It's all those things. And I won't be doing this forever. Like, I don't want to do it forever. And also people won't want me to do it forever. And I just want to just, I don't know. I just, I love artists. I love music so much, you know, so I wouldn't dare. So no, no, no one will be I, th- I think, uh, I think people will want you to do it forever. That's the problem you're going to have. Well, it's like that. Remember when I did that interview with Alan? And it was like, whoa, it was all a lie. When I'm like 95, who wants to hear me whining like chain smoking or something like that? I'm living like a Grey Gardens character, like with all my cats being eaten alive. <laughs> well, it was um, 
It was amazing to listen to that again. And Hometown Glory is still one of my favourite songs of all time. It's a, it, it, well, it's, a, it's a very special, it was a very special moment. And it was great to talk to you in that it was, moment. And I that think. year was amazing as well. Like 2006 mm. in London, it was like the best year ever. Yeah, yeah. it was it's my most nostalgic favourite year. It felt, I've ever had. It, it felt like something very special was about to happen and oh my god you couldn't have predicted how special it, oh, no, it became, never, right? never, yeah. never, never. oh that's very sweet thank you for saying that Adele it's been a treat to speak to you again and please when you are you coming back to the UK at some point soon can we get you in person I can't wait I can't wait I'm coming back in a couple of weeks yeah right okay so album 19th of November we'll see you back in the studio at some point soon we'd love to hang out oh, a bit more of course you've always had me before anyone cared and you're still here now so yes we, I will definitely be coming yeah we we care very very much so I'm <laughs> gonna I'm gonna play the song one more time and I'd like you to oh. what would you so for people who are listening on a Friday morning feeling maybe a bit lost feeling a little bit all over the place and that they need something just to remind them that everything's gonna be alright we're gonna play this song for them and is there anything you want to say to those people um, trust the process, um, go with your gut, and um, it's also Friday, so it's the weekend, so cheer up. Go out, put your hair in some rollers, go out, have a laugh, find someone that you may or may not ever love, but hey, do it. Drink the bag juice. Drink the bag juice. <laughs> Adele, see you soon, nice to see you. Bye, my darling. Thank you, Greg. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, everyone. Cheers. Thanks, Cheers, Adele. Bye, 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 bye. bye. <laughs> BBC Radio 1. If you enjoyed this, then please like and subscribe it and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can watch more great Radio 1 videos by following the links on screen now. For more great audio and video from the BBC, you can listen on the BBC Sounds app and watch on iPlayer.